Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how you can build a React application that streams LLM responses from the backend. So here's an example of the LLM response. And if I refresh, you're gonna see that the answer comes uh, streaming in from the backend rather than coming all at once. So once again, just to show you the example, here you go. Uh, in the last video, I walked you through the backend endpoint. It was a Python fast API endpoint that we used to stream the answer to the client. In this video, I'll show you how the React client is talking to the backend and how is it handling the binary data coming from the backend into text data that you see on the screen right now. Okay, so I'll at first quickly remind you of the backend code. So in the backend, we have a fast API server running with one endpoint called stream answer. In the last video that I uploaded, I think last week, uh, I do a walkthrough of the whole code base for the backend. So if you want more details, check that out. But in short, all the backend is doing is instantiating the OpenAI client with streaming set to true, and then as we are getting the response back from OpenAI, instead of blocking on the backend, so the conventional way to do it is the backend waits until it gets everything from the LLM, and only after it has the full result, it sends it to the client. But instead, when we are when we are getting data from the LLM through streaming, every chunk the LLM sends to our fast API backend the server will send that to the client. And because of that, you have the effect here where you see at the answer in incrementally rolling in rather than all at once. Okay, so the, yeah, the backend is very straightforward. Check out the last video, but in short, we have the model uh, we instantiated with streaming set to true. And then when we are actually invoking the model, instead of dot invoke, we're doing dot stream. And the stream, uh, the way the response is coming from, from the from the LLM is it's sort of like a generator where it yields chunk, and every chunk is uh, the response that you see on the client. Okay, so that's the back end. Now let's look at the front end, which is going to be the focus of this video. So the front end is a very simple React app. Uh, so you see the app.js file here and we're giving it the query. So the query is hard-coded right now, but we can change it to whatever you uh, you want to. So let's say in, uh, instead of Istanbul, we use London. I refresh, I refresh, and you're gonna see we're getting details about uh, London. And it doesn't even have to be a travel plan. It can be anything you put here. So I can just as easily say, uh, give me a comprehensive training plan for my upcoming 5k race. So if I refresh, you're going to see again the whole thing uh, streaming in. And I think this is a better example because you see the data is very large. So instead of waiting all these time, we can incrementally see the results coming in. Okay, awesome. So imagine if you had to wait the whole time to get the data instead, you can start reading immediately. Um, okay, so let's look at the code now. So we have the streaming answer component where all the logic is, and then we're passing it a prompt or a prop called user query. And here's the streaming answer component code. Uh, so I have added a bunch of comments here. All the comments were generated using LLM. Uh, that's why I was able to put uh, the comprehensive comment here. So if I go through this line by line, um, the streaming answer component takes in the prop that you already saw. And then the text that you see here, the whole text we store in a local variable or a state called streamed text. And as the backend incrementally sends the update to the client, we update the state. So we essentially update the variable here as we get new data from the backend. So we have the use effect hook, and that's why you see the data reload every time I refresh. Okay. 
So within it, we have the function that actually fetches our data, and that's called the streaming data function. Uh, this is where bulk of the code is, uh, this one, the function right here. So all we're doing in the use effect hook is calling this function that we're going to talk about in a little bit. And after we're done calling the function, uh, we don't do anything else, right? So all the setting the text, incrementally updating it, everything happens within the scope of this one function called fetch streaming data. So now let's see how the or what the function does. So at first we're calling our backend endpoint, which is the stream answer route. It's the same one that you see over here. Okay. And if you remember, this backend endpoint takes in a query string called query. That's exactly what we're passing here. And the query is coming from the user prop. Now, uh, the response comes in. And if you remember, this is a, uh, where is it? This is a streaming response. So instead of getting the full response, we're getting it incrementally. So as we're getting it incrementally, we'll need to parse it incrementally as well. Because typically what you do on the client is you uh, you send the, send the request to the backend, you wait for the response to come back, and only after you have the full response back from the client, you do all your parsing, formatting, and show the data to the user. But instead, in a streaming response, from the back end, you'll need to incrementally convert the binary data in the response to text data, move on to the next chunk, move on to the next chunk until you're done with the response. So we kick off the request here and then we decode it using the decoder. So the, the response that's coming from the server is going to be a binary data. So we'll need to use a text decoder to convert it into UTF-8 uh, text data. So we have our reader and then we have our decoder and we have a flag called done. Now, we're gonna enter this while loop here, which essentially says that until the done flag is set to true, in other words, until the backend is done sending all the response data, keep executing this piece of code. And what is this piece of code doing? It's very simple. All it's doing is asking the reader if there is any data or not, uh, or asking the reader if there's any new data from the server. If there is new data, it is decoding it using the decoder, and it's decoding it into text data. And then it's setting the React state to everything we have so far, plus the new data that just came in. Once it's done, it goes back up, checks if the done flag has been set or not. If not, keeps on doing the same thing over and over again until the reader over here sets done to true. Okay, so the reader knows when the backend has stopped uh, streaming responses back to the client. So through this flag, the reader done, which translates to done, the client code will know if we are if we are not waiting for data any longer. Once it's done, we set it to true and then we don't execute this while loop anymore. Uh, yeah, and then I think that pretty much sums it up where uh, the function is being invoked and that's why you see the, the data, I'll do it once more. You see that the data is incrementally updating and throughout the update, this while loop is executing, okay? And we are gonna wait until this done flag is flipped. And that done flag is only gonna be flipped when the backend has stopped sending any response back to the client, which depending on the answer can take a minute, two minute, totally, totally depends on the answer. As you can see in this answer, it was longer, but if we have a shorter answer, so let's go back here. Let's say we do our previous question, right? This is going to be much quicker. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, in this video, I showed you all the client code, but if you want to know more about the backend code that you see over here, check out the last video. 
I am gonna upload all the files into GitHub. So uh, if you want a deeper dive, check it out. It should be linked somewhere in the comments below or in the description. Uh, okay, hopefully that was helpful. I'll end it here. Take care everyone, bye-bye.